In this video, we are looking at the latest IM from 64 Audio U4S. This is, uh, if I'm not wrong, is their cheapest hybrid IEM ever. I believe they used to make a lot of BA based IEMs, and the U4S is the cheapest high hybrid IEM ever. They have been making a lot of PA uh, uh, based custom and uh, universal IEMs. So there was the U3, U4, but uh, this is not similar to them. This is a hybrid IEM. This is the U4S and houses three BA drivers and one DD. It still has the uh, TR driver and Apex modules and uh, uh, that really adds up to the value of this IEM priced at around $1100. This is an excellent IEM for those who are looking for an IEM in this price range. I find this to be a fairly good upgrade I love to say to the uh, duo, duo had two drivers one DD one BA and duo is musically tuned while the U4S is a bit more detail oriented too. It has uh, the, the solidarity that I was missing with the duo. This one has the weight with the notes while, while the duo was a bit more hollowish. It was kind of uh, feeling like there was a bit of uh, empty space in the notes. They were a bit wider, but there wasn't a lot of substance in the notes. While the U4S is much better in that regard similar build i love to say very similar build you guys can see similar shape similar housing very very similar but this is smaller the size you guys can see my nails are small my digits you guys can see is fairly small uh less than an inch i have to say uh 19 millimeter or i think uh, uh 8 8 by 10 inches this is fairly small and fit will fit nearly every year it isn't big and uh, should be fairly comfortable the nozzle let me show you guys the nozzle is fairly comfortable too deep enough and goes well into the ear giving a giving a very good uh, seal and uh, isolation uh, the the stability inside the ear is very good too and uh, no no discomfort at all do was slightly bigger and was slightly uh, difficult to keep inside but this is much easier and uh, there are four modules okay you guys can get four different apex modules with this im uh, m12 the 12 db dampener is specially made for this im and comes with no other im and uh, i i didn't feel like changing this this uh, modules these modules are fairly expensive but uh, i didn't feel that i need to change these modules and uh, this is fairly good for me the setup is very good i find this to be much uh, better than the duo 2 so uh, i didn't feel that i need to change the modules but i'll do that uh, after some time uh, now let's move on to the sound quality this one, as I said, is a much better IEM, much, much better sounding IEM than the Duo. Duo was good. Duo is good. It is a more musically inclined, musically tuned IEM. While the U4S isn't exactly tuned for musicality, it has the substance, the details, the resolution and definition we kind of missed with the Duo. This one does have similar kind of bass presentation this is tuned by the same brand so uh, the bass is punchier voluminous has good amount of meat to it and uh, the sub bass is deep enough it isn't the most sub bassy kind of im but the sub bass is very good there are no issues with that mid bass is a bit more voluminous while the upper bass is reasonably calm or no ag agitation or anything like that the dk speed though is is on the uh, is slightly on the slower side to give the weight the precipitation of notes and uh, the layering the wave kind of uh, uh, hit you in a wave manner so that's a very good thing now moving on to the mid-range i'll have to say 
this is slightly v-shaped there is a hint of v-shaped feeling it it just dips and makes recovery in the vocal region vocals have very good texture tonality and timber i do find it to be slightly slightly recessed but uh, there, there is no major issues uh, with it either uh, they they do not lack in definition or anything like that and uh, if you can change a cable a good cable that thing will be uh, countered too you do not need to spend a lot get a, a cadmus maybe and it will do the job now move on to the triple region i'll have to say uh, the triple is well defined well detailed good amount of layering and separation there instruments are very well energized too but um, it isn't the best triple range i have heard in this price range there are some ims that can do slightly better than this in the triple range especially but the cohesion and the musical abilities of this im is much better than them the im that i am talking about is the e by 5 the fi by 5 is a more balanced a more clinically tuned i have to say um, a more analytically tuned im this one has a slightly better cable you guys can see slightly better looking stock cable this one though is retailing cheaper at the website while this one is a bit more expensive doesn't matter uh, this this im is a straight up comparison to the u4s i find this to be more detailed the transparency is a bit more uh, better the clarity is slightly better uh, the notes are slightly drier while the u4s is more musical this one is more analytical it has very good amount of details of the definition the resolution is a hint better than the u4s what the u4s does better is it has the musicality slight bit of incl inclination to the musical uh, region uh, the notes are sharp enough but they do not have the extra bit of uh, edge to them they are slightly more rounded just slightly more rounded while the uh, fee by five is fairly sharp it is sharp sharpish the finishing definition of this im is on the sharper side while the u4s is slightly more forgiving while this is more to the point if if the track has a bit of harshness to it you will feel it with the p by 5 but uh, with the u4s it will forgive that that slight bit of harshness the slight bit of uh, uh, extra bit of energy i'll have to say and uh, the fee by 5 doesn't mask that it will give you that extra bit of uh, uh energy it can be defined as resolution and transparency but at times people find that to be uncom uncomfortable which is not the case with the u4s u4s can do uh, very well with the details and definition transparency is good too but it doesn't have the extra bit of energy which is fairly comfortable to most of the users or listeners now moving on to the staging and stuff this that is where these two ims differ more while the u4s has a bit taller taller stage and slightly rounded x-axis uh, expansion this one is not very tall but the x-axis is much wider the x-axis of the fee by five is much wider and slightly less taller while this one is tall slightly less wider so when it comes to staging both are very good both are very good when it comes to details and stuff all you have to do is to pick the one that is more closer to your requirements while this one is a bit more inclined towards the musical side this one is more analytical both are very good when it comes to details as i said you will not miss any definitely but this one is slightly more forgiving that extra bit of uh, bite the extra bit of attack is not perceived sharply with the u4s while the fee by five has that extra bit of perceived details so it comes down to what kind of 
output you want from your IAM and pick any of these two and you will be very happy but uh, for me this one is slightly better because of the details but uh, for those who like musicality they definitely can go for the u4s this is a, a more all rounderish kind of im that will do very good with anything this one i feel can feel a bit uh, harsher when it comes to metal and kind of stuff when they scream and this kind of stuff that thing can be slightly piercing with the by five while the u4s will be more forgiving and more uh, reasonable in that scenario too because it doesn't have that extra bit of uh, aggression so this is the comparison or say review of the 64 audio u4s i'll i'll compare it with the fee by not the fee by sorry my mistake uh, custom art hybrid 3 pro 2 so we will see how that hybrid im compares with this and this within a couple of weeks so this is it guys thank you for watching have a nice day enjoy